Hey y'all, I am doing some FX ASMR pods. These are blind. I think they're, I don't know how many there are to collect. This is series two over here and I've got a bunch of them. You can see they're all sort of, like a lot of them are different sizes. So you can kind of guess maybe which one you are, you're getting if you um, have seen enough of them or if you uh, just don't want to get duplicates, try to get different ones. And they're just like little pods that all do different things. Like this one just pushes like a button. And they're really satisfying. And I have one where it just When you turn it, it makes twisty noises. This is one of my favorite ones. It just like clicks all over the place. So I'm hoping to get a few different ones. <clears throat> and I'll start with this really big one. Um, so it's funny because the tear strips are sideways and I think you're supposed to peel it like all the way around is my I thing about, okay, yeah. So it peels all the way around and the whole unboxing of like is supposed to be really ASMR so I think that the sideways peeling is on purpose so here we go I really like these it says oddly satisfying around and then it says peel here and it's these sort of shrink wrapped tear strips never work out really well for me but it could like it's pretty fun to pair it this way. Oh, there is a checklist. That's kind of cool. All right. So it's interesting that they have this one pod. All right. So let's see how many there even are. <clears throat> oh, cool. So there's eight different pods. We're going to see which one we get. It's wrapped in this um, streamer type material which is kind of fun. This is the largest one. And the largest one is, oh, this one is called the Rip. Here's Rip. And I think, oh, it's Velcro. Very satisfying. And then I think you can just shove it back in. Yep. So satisfying. I'm very happy with this one. Okay, so that's Rip. <clears throat> Let's open another one. The next few ones are sort of all the same size. And I don't know if the color or the dupe or whatever is going to... Honestly, they're not coated. It's hard to tell which ones. If they are coated, please let me know. I did a ton of research online and I couldn't find any codes for them. But it's cool the way they open. All right. So don't care about that. Ooh, it's like a green. Oh, this is fun. All right. This one is called Screw. And it looks like a screw. looks like a little screw that you screw in and you can keep screwing in any direction this is so cool love it okay love screw that one's cool <clears throat> I wanted a whole bunch of these because they're I'm a kind of uh, anxious person and I don't normally play with like fidget spinners or things like that but they have been very helpful at my desk at the office when I'm like ugh with all this noise okay here we go uh, different color one Ooh, I don't know what this is. All right, this one is called Puzzle. Does, does it move? Oh, you can do it like 
you can just move things um, like randomly to try to make, I don't know what the puzzle would be, like get all the colors on one side. Um, like here, we'll move all the purples. This is cool. Oh, that's gonna drive me nuts. All right, so then I can do the green here. And then, oh, it's so cool. It's like a little, it's like a little Rubik's cube almost. This one's cool. All right, so that's a puzzle. <laughs> there are eight total and I have more than eight here. So hopefully we complete the set. I want the one that looks like a corn, a corn in the cob, because it's the coolest one, I think. <clears throat> But yeah, I didn't. I didn't get into fidget spinners when they came out, and like the older generation of fidgety things from my generation, like um, fingerboards, those kinds of little things. I was never really good at those. I have pretty terrible hand-eye coordination, so I did not uh, get them. Ooh, this one is like tissue wrapped around. This is interesting. All right. This one is called Flex. I wonder why. Oh, that's fun. This is cool. Okay, not a lot of spinning action, and I think I broke it actually just now. This doesn't screw on and off, it's just being weird. That's cool. It looks like a, like a Chinese lantern almost. These are cool. All right. All right, so that's four in. And we have a few more. I'm really pleased with these. I've been, this is series two. And I have, like, I showed you three earlier that I think are from series one. But they were a gift from somebody somebody wonderful. Oh gosh, these are like staticky on me. <clears throat> but I'm excited to get any of them, honestly. Okay, so this is green and this is, oh, this is the corn one. This is peel. All right, I'm so excited about this. All right, here we go. Look, it's corn. Oh, and it's heavy. It just goes right back. So it doesn't really, um, it's not as satisfying as I thought it would be. It's visually beautiful, but it's, um, it just sort of snaps back. It doesn't turn or do anything weird. It makes a fun noise. It's corn though. It's so cool. <laughs> All right. That one's cool. All right. We're moving on. <clears throat> oh, this one's kind of an odd shape. I wonder if I have this one already, if it's the first really large one, which is the orange peeling one. Hmm. Does anybody else have fun ASMR things? Like, I love playing with slime. It really makes me super uh, calm but you can't just be walking around with slime. <laughs> so these pods are a little more discreet, which is nice. I don't think I have this. It. it is. Ooh, it is turn. Okay, so not all of them make noises, but some of them do. You can turn them in both directions. Cool. This is satisfying. They sort of fit perfectly in the palm of your hand for any sort of action. So we are now one, two, three, four, five, six. Six out of eight. So now we're really dangerously into the territory of duplicates. <clears throat> Which is not terrible. I mean, these are so much fun. 
and I can send them over to any toy collector because I feel like all of, um, at least in my little toy community, we all sort of have mental issues that we're dealing with and a lot of anxiety and, and so it's nice to have that. I don't think I... Okay, so this is turn, which we just had. So I will wrap that back up and then do that away. So we're hi. Hello. Husband's here. He brought his gun down. His gun, Gundam. Gundam. Is it Gundam? Oh, yeah. What's that? What's that one called? Barbosaurus. Barba. Taurus. Taurus. Oh. Sure. Sure. <laughs> I'm trying to get the full set and I'm six out of eight now. Mm. But now I'm being way more careful when I'm laughing. Oh, I don't have this one. Because now I'm like, oh. This one is called Switch Up. Oh, it's because it's got blue and purple beads. And so you'd be changing the bead location and color. That's kind of cool. And they're held in by themselves. Like it's not, um, it's not like on a string or anything like that, which is so satisfying. Oh, that's cool. Look at how beautiful that is. Okay, that one is a gorgeous one. All right, so now I think we're just missing, we're on our last one, which means the only one we're missing is Papa, which is this grenade looking one. So, Let's hope this is pop-up. Do you like them? They're all pretty cool. That one's called Screw. Husband's playing with them. Oh my gosh. Okay, last one. Which we hope is green in color. And it's not. I don't know which one this is. But I can already tell it's not green. It is the flex one. All right. So we're just missing the pop-up one from series two. If anybody has it or would like to trade for any of the ones that I have duplicates for, please reach out to me on Instagram. I'm so excited about these. They're so gorgeous and so much fun. Series two, and I'll be lookout. Um, I'll be on the lookout for series one too. Thanks everyone for watching. <laughs>